this was a requested video and I was eager to create a video on how to do all the fusion requirements for the Velvet Rune Twins aka the Strength Confidant. It is important to complete this confidant because the twins give you helpful bonuses. At rank 1, you are given the ability to fuse 3 personas. At rank 3, you can send personas to isolation to gain a chance to acquire resistances. Rank 5 allows for the rest of the group fusions giving the opportunity to create that amazing Yoshitsune. Rank 8 makes the isolation cell much stronger giving you a higher chance in getting no resistances. And finally, at rank 10, it gives you the ability to fuse higher level personas or fee. As well, there are no DLC personas to use in the fusion process, so this guide is incredibly useful if you did not choose to throw money at Atlas. Let's get started with rank 1, Jack Frost with Mabufu. Of course, we're starting out with a basic requirement which is Jack Frost with Mabufu. You can get this early on in the first palace by recruiting Bareth and then creating an Apsaris which can be done with a fusion with Oberion and Bicorn. The first requirement is to be level 11 to create Jack Frost. Once you have fusion Jack Frost, you should have enough experience due to having the Magician, probably at least rank 1 by this point, give enough experience to level it up to 12 to learn Mabufu. If it is not enough experience or you do not have the Magician in rank 1, leveling Jack Frost at level 12 should be easy enough as it is just one level from its initial state. For rank 2, you must create a Shisha with Frey. Using the Jack Frost you created for the first rank, recruit a Makami from the second palace to obtain the second material for Shisha. Makami already has Frey alongside it so it is an easy fusion as long as you are level 16 to create Shisha. Pass on the Frey and this will easily satisfy the second rank for the twins. At rank 3, you need to create a Matador with Magaru. There are two ways you can create this persona. The first is the McCoy, which is obtainable in the second palace, and Regent, which is a treasure demon that is revealed in the second palace as well. Fusioning these two will yield the Matador, and Regent naturally has Magaru, so you can pass it down to Matador. The requirement is that you need to be level 19 to create this persona. An alternative is obtaining the Nekomata available in the third palace, and Oberion, which is an easy fusion using these two early personas, Kelpie and Pyro Jack. <coughs> I mean, Jack O' Lantern, both found at the very first palace. Nekomata has Magaru passively, so it's an easy alternative if you didn't get an opportunity to recruit Regent. For rank 4, you need a Floros with Tarukaja. This is a group fusion which requires 3 personas, Bareth, Andrus, and Eliger. Bareth is available from the first palace, but if you did not acquire him because it is recommended to create Jack Frost, you can fuse Incubus and Jack O'Lantern to create him. Andrus can be created by fusion in Silky and Kelpie, two very early personas acquired from the first palace. Lastly, the most important piece is Eliger. Eliger is an easy fusion with Angel and Jack O'Lantern. You can create an Angel easily with a Succubus and Arsane. Eliger passively has Tarukaja once you create him. All I need to do now is be level 24 when creating Flores. Pass down with Eliger's Tarakaja is an easy task. For rank 5, you need to create an Amino Usume with Dodge Sai. Hopefully, by this point in the game, you have been leveling up Ryuji's confidant so that way you can create a Kinky. First, create a Jikokuten with an Othras and Oni, which can be obtained by negotiating with them at 3rd Palace. After you create Jikokuten, fusion it with a Nekomata, which is coincidentally found at 3rd Palace as well, to create a Kinky. If your Chariot confidant is high enough, it should reach level 27 to learn Dodge Sai. If not, grind it up 2 levels, which is not too bad in my opinion, to learn Dodge Sai. After you obtain your Kinky with Dot Sai, fusion it with Suiki. Suiki can be created using an Orthros and Matador, the very same persona required back in rank 3. From there, combine both Kinky and Suiki to make Amino Usume with Dot Sai passed down by Kinky. The required level for this persona is 29. For rank 6, you are doing another group fusion with Neko Shogun with Dakaja. For Neko Shogun, you need Anzu, Kodama, and Sudama. Anzu can be recruited back in the 4th palace or created, which I recommend more, with Isis obtaining the 4th palace and Nue, which is fused with High Pixie and Shisa. Shisa is the same persona created back in rank 2, and High Pixie can be created using Kopa Tengu found in the 2nd palace and Incubus. Once you have Nue and Isis, create Anzu with these two. If your Hierophant confidant is high enough, it should reach level 28 for Dakaja. If not, then grind Anzu for 3 levels for it to learn Takaja. From there, find or create Kodama and Sudama, which can be both found early in Mementos or through early fusions. Kodama can be created with Bareth and a Nagashian. Sudama can be created with Nekomata and Makoi. Once you are level 30, you can combine these three to create a Neko Shogun with Takaja from a level 28 Hanzu. 
For rank 7, you must create a Lachesis with Trachaja. First, obtain a Principality who has Trachaja passively by fusion with Lamia and Sandman, both found and obtainable in the 4th Palace. From there, fuse Principality with a Yaxini, which can be found in the 3rd Palace, to create Amina Usume, passed down with Trachaja. Finally, use that obtained Isis from the 4th Palace to fuse Amina Usume to create a Lachesis passed down with Trachaja. Remember, you must be level 34 to create Lachesis. For rank 8, you must create a Hecaton Chiris with Masukanda. You can create a Hecaton Chiris using Unicorn and Lilum. Unicorn can be found late in the 5th palace or by an early fusion with Kinki and Isis, both personas needed in our previous ranks. Lilum is found in the 4th palace or easily created using Kadama and McCoy, both personas obtained early on in the game. Lilum has Masukanda passively, so just fuse the two and create a Hecaton Chiris passed down with Masukanda from Lilum. You must be level 42 to create this. For rank 9, you must use a group fusion to create bugs with Samara Karm. The three personas required for this fusion is Harati, Pixie, and Pesaka. Harati will learn Samara Karm at level 41, so it is a quick level up from level 40. If you were able to obtain at least the first rank from the Empress Incarna, if not, just grind it for one level, it should not take too long. You can create a Harati with a persona we created in the past, Principality, and Fuki. Fuki can be created with an Impandatra and a Huapo, both attainable from the second palace. From there, Pixie was an early persona obtained in the game, while Pesaka will require either recruitment from Mementos or a fusion with Phoenix and Nakamata. Phoenix can be created by Oni and Sudama, both personas used in previous fusions. With these two, you can create Pisaka. Once you have all three and Harati at level 41 with Samara Karm, you can then create Bugs with Samara Karm. You must be level 49 to create this persona. Finally, we are at the last rank, which is a Seth with High Counter. Seth is a group fusion requiring 4 personas, which are Isis, used before in our fusions, Toth, which is found in the 4th palace, or in Mementos, Anubis, and Horus. First, let's create an Anubis which surprisingly requires early personas, which are Pixie and Angel. In case you don't have Angel, you can create it using Succubus and Arsene. With these two, you can create your Anubis. Now, I did say before you can recruit Toth in Mementos and in the 4th palace, but in case you cannot obtain them, use that newly created Anubis and fuse with Yaxini, which which we needed before to create Toth. Rebuy your Anubis if you needed to fuse Toth. Lastly, create Horus using Kushinada and Hecaton Trees, which we needed for rank 8. You can obtain a Kushinada from negotiations in the 5th palace or with a fusion of Toth and Fuki. Once you have these two, fusion for a Horus. Now, with all these four personas, we can create a Seth. Now, you must be wondering why these personas don't know high counter and we need to put high counter on our Seth in the first place. Well, getting high counter on one of those personas will take a lot of your money and time. Thus, create your Seth first. From there, Mishima will give you a Mementos quest called The Killer Who Cleans Up Trash, which is available after you complete the 4th Palace on October 14th. You will obtain the skill card High Counter from this request. Teach Seth this skill card to make this process much easier. If you do not want to use this skill card, make sure you skate at a high enough rank to copy the skill card. Return to the Velvet Room and now talk to the Twins to collect your max rank reward. These are the simplest and clearest ways I have compiled in order to complete this request. In reality, the only hard part is either leveling your persona to learn a certain skill or getting the high counter skill card. Other than that, these tasks are not too challenging and obtaining the final skill from this confidant is so worth it. If you have any tips or easier ways to obtain personas, let me know down below in the comments because I am happy to learn better ways on satisfying the twins requests. Until then, I will see you in the next video.